In this video, I will be going over some advanced fourblind techniques for centers. The first topic is super helpful and should be learned as soon as you are comfortable with fourblind. But after that, I will be covering more advanced topics that will only be applicable for people looking to get sub 3. Most people shoot the centers in a fixed order so that it's easier to keep track of which centers they've already targeted. For example, they might target this, this center first and then go clockwise from there. However, you shouldn't always stick to a fixed order because by going out of order, you can avoid cycle breaks and force better comms. Let's take a look at an example. Notice here that we have two choices for this green sticker. It could go here or here. However, if we stick to a fixed order, we will shoot here first, which will then go here, giving us a cycle break. We will then break into a new cycle by shooting here, here, and then back to here, giving us this solution. Notice if we, if we shoot to this sticker first, the next sticker will solve the, the last white center, giving us a cycle break. So we should skip this center and shoot to this center first, giving us this solution, which is one letter pair shorter. So as you can see, avoiding the cycle break by shooting the centers out of order gave us a shorter solution. You might be wondering, how do I know if shooting to this sticker is going to lead to a cycle break? Well, you don't. But you can minimize your chance of getting a cycle break by avoiding white centers. For example, in this scramble, the first target will be here and then here, like normal. However, on the red face, the next target is a white center. If we were to shoot here, it would solve the last white center, which means that the next white center we hit is automatically going to be a cycle break. So we're going to skip this white center and go here instead, which goes here, and then here, and here we're going to skip that white center, go here, here, and now we have to shoot to the last white center, but that's okay. And then we'll go here, 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 and finally back to here. Notice that we had no cycle breaks. If we had stuck to a fixed shooting order, we would have had two cycle breaks. Another reason to shoot the centers out of order is to force better comms. This is a more advanced technique and doesn't save as much time. Let's take a look at this scramble. If we shoot the centers in order, this sticker, will go here, and then here, and then here, and then here. Next will be here, and then here. However, if we shoot to this sticker first, we can get a different solution, which has slightly faster comms. A third solution would be to solve these two centers and then float the last two. Sometimes you'll end up with a case like this, where after you solve most of the centers, you'll end up with two swap centers and everything else solved. Now, you could break into a new cycle and solve them, or you could do one fast out and just swap these two centers. It's also helpful to learn the lefty mirror. Both of these algs will be in the description. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we need to swap these two centers. We can rotate and then do the alg. Note that these algs are only solve centers safe, which means you can only do them after you solve all the other centers except for those two. Otherwise, they'll mess up the other centers. If you understand how commutators work, it should be fairly easy to understand how these algs work. It's basically a three cycle that cycles a solve center. Since it cycles a solve center, it looks like only two centers were affected. It might be helpful to see this as a com. Here we have an R interchange, followed by U prime L prime U insertion. Undo interchange, undo insertion. Once you understand that, it's pretty easy to come up with other comms to swap only two centers. So let's say we need to swap this one and this one. Here we can do an R U R prime insertion, followed by a D2 interchange, which would swap those two centers. Next, I will be talking about two center, two center algs. These refer to algs that swap two centers with another two. For example, U2, R2, U2, R2. These are useful because you can solve centers into their opposite spots and then fix them at the end with a two center, two center alg. I will have a full list of these algs in the description. Let's take a look at this scramble. Notice that we have one blue center on the green face and two green centers on the blue face. Now these three centers are what I call pseudo-solved because we can solve this blue center into this spot, which sets us up for a two center, two center alg. Note that you can also set up to these cases. So for example, if we have this here 
and this here, they're not directly in position to do a two center, two center alg, but we can do an F prime setup and then the two center, two center alg and then undo the setup. So I've done a lot of calculations on this and I found that if we have three pseudo solve centers, it saves 0.5 comms on the average, counting the two center, two center alg as a comm. If we have four pseudo solve centers, it saves 1.5 comms on the average. So personally, I think it's only worth it when you have three or four pseudo solve centers. Some two center, two center algs are only solve center safe because they cycle centers on the same face. This means we can only do them after we have solved all the other centers. There are also algs like M2U2, M2U2 to swap entire centers. But cases where we can use this are really rare. You can also do similar things for plus centers on a 5x5. Five five. Let's say you need to swap these two centers with these two. But you can do U2, M2, U2, M2. You can also do three move setups to swap adjacent bars. For example, M prime, U prime, M, M sets up these two centers in the right position to be swapped. That's all I have for this video, but I plan on making more videos on other techniques, so be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.